Sahabat official kali ini kami akan menunjukkan apakah pendeta Kristen yang satu ini jauh lebih cerdas dari robot chat GPT yang belakangan ini begitu viral di media ya. Nah, bagi jemaat Kristen tentunya tayangan ini sangat bagus sekali untuk kalian simak ya sebagai penambah wawasan dan bahan renungan. Bagaimana mungkin ya ada pendeta yang tidak percaya terhadap kenabian Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam sementara robot GPT saja mengakuinya. Pernah ada orang Islam yang tanya pada saya, kami orang Islam sudah percaya bahwa Yesus adalah Nabi, tapi mengapa kalian orang Kristen tidak mau percaya dan terima bahwa Muhammad adalah Nabi? Saya bilang dua jawaban saya, pertama adalah kalau kalian percaya Yesus itu Nabi, itu memang cocok dengan ajaran kitab sucimu. Tapi bagi kami tidak ada ajaran dalam kitab suci kami bahwa Muhammad adalah Nabi, lalu mengapa kami harus percaya bahwa Muhammad Nabi? Hello ChatGPT, can you explain to me some of the key miracles of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him? Please explain to me some of his miracles because I feel like a lot of people, they're just not familiar with what his miracles were, what was going on, and what was basically so miraculous about him and what basically brought him into prophethood. Absolutely. Prophet Muhammad, peace. Nah, sekarang mari kita uji tentang mukjizat kenabian Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yang diakui dan dipaparkan sendiri oleh robot AI berikut ini. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh sahabat official di mana berada Perkembangan Islam dan kebenarannya di masa sekarang ini maupun di masa yang akan datang bukan hanya didukung oleh perkembangan zaman namun juga didukung oleh sains dan riset para ilmuwan Bahkan yang terakhir malah didukung oleh teknologi kecerdasan robot AI Nah, apakah mereka percaya kepada Muhammad sebagai seorang nabi atau utusan Allah? Mari kita sini. Brought him into prophethood. Absolutely. Prophet Muhammad, be upon him, performed several miracles, but many people may not be familiar with them compared to the miracles of other prophets like Moses or Jesus. These miracles, known as mujizat, are considered by Muslims as divine signs that confirmed his prophethood. Here are some of the key miracles attributed to him. 1. The revelation of the Quran. One of the greatest miracles attributed to the Prophet Muhammad is the revelation of the Quran itself. Unlike other prophets, whose miracles were often physical acts, the Quran is seen as an ongoing living miracle. It was revealed over 23 years and is viewed as inimitable in its language, depth, and wisdom. The Arabs, at the time of Muhammad, were highly skilled in poetry and rhetoric, but they could not produce anything like the Quran, despite being challenged to do so. Miraculous aspect, the Quran's linguistic style, its preservation over centuries, and its ability to speak to diverse audiences across time and cultures are all considered miraculous. Furthermore, its content includes scientific facts, historical knowledge, and prophecies that were unknown at the time. Two, the night journey, Isra and Miraj, Wah, sungguh luar biasa ya, sahabat official. Ternyata robot ini pun tahu tentang mukjizat Isra Mi'raj dan bahkan susunan mukjizat antara Al-Qur'an dan Isra Mi'raj pun benar adanya. Bahwa mukjizat terbesar Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yang pertama adalah Al-Qur'an dan yang kedua adalah perjalanan malam dengan keajaiban yang disebut Isra Mi'raj. Bahkan yang bertanya ini ternyata juga bukan dari kalangan Islam Dan sepertinya beliau ini adalah penganut aliran keyakinan seperti Budaisme One of the most famous miracles of the Prophet Muhammad is the Isra and Miraj According to Islamic tradition, the Prophet was taken on a miraculous journey in a single night from Mecca to Jerusalem This part is known as the Isra From Jerusalem He ascended through the seven heavens to meet the previous prophets and ultimately stood in the presence of God. This part is called the mirage. Miraculous aspect, 
This event is considered miraculous because of the supernatural nature of the journey, which would have been impossible by human means in such a short time. It's a momentous event in Islamic history, confirming Muhammad's prophethood and solidifying important aspects of Islamic worship, such as the establishment of the five daily prayers. Three, the splitting of the moon. Another miracle commonly associated with the prophet is the splitting of the moon. According to Islamic tradition, the disbelievers of Mecca asked Muhammad for a sign to prove his prophethood. In response, God split the moon into two distinct parts and then rejoined them. Miraculous aspect. The splitting of the moon is seen as a direct supernatural act that defied the laws of nature and was witnessed by the people of Mecca. It was a visible physical miracle that left onlookers in awe. The event is briefly referenced in the Quran. The hour has come near and the moon has split in two. Quran 54, 1. Laugh for water flowing from his fingers. There are multiple reports of water miraculously flowing from the prophet's fingers to quench the thirst of his companions or provide water for them to perform ablution. On one occasion, during a military expedition, his companions ran out of water, and the prophet placed his hand in a container of water, causing water to flow from between his fingers so that everyone could drink and perform ablution. Miraculous aspect. This miracle showcases divine intervention in a time of need and highlights the prophet's special connection with God. The ability to produce water, a vital resource, was seen as a powerful, life-saving miracle. Five, the multiplication of food. There are several instances where Prophet Muhammad was able to miraculously multiply food to feed large groups of people. For example, during the Battle of the Trench, his companions were struggling with hunger. When a small amount of food was brought to the Prophet, he placed his hands over it, prayed, and then distributed it. The small meal ended up feeding the entire group of companions. Miraculous Aspect the ability to increase food miraculously, especially in times of hardship, was seen as divine support for the prophet and his community, demonstrating God's power to provide sustenance. Six, the tree that moved to him. One reported miracle is the incident where a tree moved toward prophet Muhammad to provide him shade. According to the story, a Bedouin man challenged the prophet to prove his prophethood by calling a tree to come to him. When the prophet called the tree, it uprooted itself and came toward him, then return to its place. Miraculous aspect, the obedience of inanimate objects, such as trees, to the prophet's command is viewed as a sign of his connection to divine power and proof of his prophethood. 7. Healing the sick. There are various reports of Prophet Muhammad healing people through his prayers or touch. For example, during the Battle of Kabar, one of his companions, Ali, had severe eye pain. The prophet applied his saliva to Ali's eyes, and they were miraculously healed, allowing him to continue fighting. Miraculous act. Hmm. Wow, I did not know that information. Not at all. I didn't know that, Kelly. Trees moving, moving healing. I, I didn't I know didn't that the proper Han Peace was doing all that. I didn't I know. Really didn't know. Really know. Six miracles. No idea. Yeah. Why doesn't Why anyone talk about that? I mean, I'm sure people do, but I mean, that's... Even like, this deep into our yeah. research, this is our first time hearing you saying... Luar biasa sekali ya sahabat official bagaimana mungkin pendeta seperti Esra Soru ini tidak percaya terhadap kenabian Rasul Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sementara robot AI saja mengakui kenabian Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Apakah para pendeta ini lebih cerdas dari robot AI? Ini artinya Allah itu maha benar ya. Jadi Allah memang benar-benar memenangkan Islam daripada agama-agama buatan manusia seperti Yahudi dan Nasrani. Nah, finally, satu saja pertanyaan untuk para pendeta ya. Apakah chat GPT ini bisa berbohong tentang fakta dan sejarah? Dan mari kita dengar bagaimana kengeyelan pendeta dengan segala tipu dayanya. Kedua, kalau mau setara, kamu mau supaya saya percaya sesuai dengan apa yang kamu percaya, yaitu Muhammad adalah Nabi, maukah kamu juga percaya seperti yang saya percaya bahwa Yesus adalah Tuhan? <tuh> kalau saya percaya Muhammad Nabi, saya jadi Islam dong. Lalu kamu percaya Yesus Tuhan, kamu jadi Kristen dong. Jadi saya jadi Islam, kamu jadi Kristen. 
Enakan kamu dong Enak, Karena jaminan hidup gagal hanya dalam Yesus Nah kalau memang mau Kita sama-sama beruntung ya Jangan saya disuruh percaya Muhammad Kamu percaya Yesus saja Saya sudah percaya Yesus kamu juga Sama-sama percaya Yesus sama-sama selamat Ayo bagaimana Adil kan Allahumma inni as'aluka bi anni ashhadu annaka anta Allah la ilaha illa anta anta al-ahadu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad